<laughs> all right so i'm missing the fans but <laughs> it just got really bright all of a sudden let's dim it down a little bit that's better welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing vampire-ish vampire diary there we go vampire diary kind of look i love it i can't wait i feel like i don't know um, I was really excited about this look. I actually love vampires. That's like my weakness. So obviously I needed to do some kind of weird veiny thingy crawling through my face. <laughs> um, I was going to take it a step further and use like blood and stuff, but I'm saving the blood for the good stuff. So here you go. Without further ado, let's get to biting. I mean, watching. Whichever you prefer. Hello. So this is the second time I am filming this video. The first time it went horribly, horribly wrong. I'm not going to blame it on the alcohol, but there's a high possibility of the alcohol. But it's okay. You win some, you lose some. But yeah, second attempt. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to start... <laughs> I'm not gonna put on any foundation for this video, for this makeup look, um, mainly because I wanna do it differently. I'm gonna go in with the Cookie Professional Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I'm gonna start first with some concealer because that I am going to need. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I am counting down the days to Halloween. Um, this weekend we have a wedding and we are gonna go we are gonna stay at the hotel by the wedding just because it's gonna be easier because both my son and my husband are walking the wedding and I know for a fact that my husband's not gonna be able to take pictures of the groomsmen and with the baby and then also do whatever he has to do and get himself dressed the baby dressed and all of that dress I was like you know what Let's just rent. We'll stay there. We'll consider it a mini vacay. And we will go from there. Because I would rather be there to help. Than for it to be a disaster. And then you don't look good. My son doesn't look good. Which I don't care much about you. But my son needs to look perfect. <laughs> so that's what we have going on this weekend. I'll probably vlog. But we should be checking into the hotel on Saturday. Oh, now I'm going to bronze. I'm not gonna bronze too much because this is a vampire look, so I wanna stay as pale as possible. And as you all know, I'm already pretty darn pale. Um, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of that, but I'm also see we're still keeping it very, very white, but I also wanted to go in with some black. Which I'm not really sure how that's going to play out. Which I shouldn't have put the powder on because the black is going to be cream. So that was my mistake. I wasn't thinking about it. But whatever it is what it is, you live and you learn. I'm going to get some of the black. I'm going to rub it between two fingers. And then I'm going to rub that in another finger. Just to, because I want to look dead. <clears throat> well, Darth the vampire. All right, I'm going to take out all of this. I'm going to get my beauty blender on the other. Not my beauty blender. I'm going to use the one that I don't really use. I'm going to use. Uh, use this one. It's not wet, but this is the Sephora one, but it's okay. Just to help kind of blend that out. I think it's very difficult for this, for like, I'm gonna put some shadows of the black all over. Cause I wanna intensify this and make it more grayer than 
anything else. <laughs> I'm gonna wet my beauty blender a little bit. I'm just gonna use my Mario Badescu um, lavender facial spray. That's just gonna help. I think it's gonna soften it up. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. Because again, I wanna be calm. I wanna look like vampires have that very like suck then kind of but i don't want to do that with Oof, i got a lot i don't want to do that with um with contour i want to do that with a dark nice brown or brown black gray whatever You see nothing crazy, but you can definitely tell kind of like the dead. <laughs> I'm going to put just a couple of spots up here just to darken that up a little bit. I don't want to look, oop, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't want to look too alive. <laughs> that's just I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> I don't want to look too alive. <laughs> Who wants to look alive nowadays? Oh, that is so in. Sorry, I'll let it go now. <laughs> Alrighty, now. I'm gonna do my brows. I want to do more of a... Not a harsher brown. But I want to kind of like... thinking of doing something but you know what i am not even gonna go that route let's just do our brows okay <laughs> let's just do our brows i'm already wide enough as it is let's not add anything else i think my eyebrows still have um glue <clears throat> i washed the sh out of my eyebrows and they still have glue oh well it is what it is don't worry about what my eyebrows have to do. It's a long, long, long story. <laughs> I was going to set them, but so fun about setting your eyebrows. <clears throat> I am going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. <sighs> Man, this palette is so dirty. With a nice big Sigma brush and I am going to go into this shade and this shade, one under, one on top of each other. Because I love that kind of brickish reddish feel that it gives. I'm not going too crazy with the blending. I want it to be choppy and all over the place. I want this to be messy. <sighs> now with that, no, now with that semi fat brush, you know what? I take it back. With a much more Steady brush. We are gonna go in with black. I'm gonna put this black all over my lid. And blend it upwards into that color. Not too high, but just right. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I promise you it makes sense to me.
and you want this to be messy i've never seen a vampire with per well that's not true nowadays vampires have perfectly looking makeup but the good old vampires their makeup was usually quite choppy and rough never perfect never like smooth it was almost like just kind of like done makeup um i'm gonna stop right there real quick i'm gonna go into my flat brush i'm gonna go into my alomar i'm gonna go back into that black and i am going to line the bottom of my lashes with that black And I'm gonna just smooth it downwards. Again, not smooth, but like run it, let it run downwards in my eye. Right, I'm gonna go back into the Sigma brush and I'm gonna go back into these two colors, the same two I used. I'm gonna put that all over the bottom of my lid. And we are gonna bring this on and that is the reason why I wanted to make sure I had concealer on there because the concealer is kind of acting like as a prime. And as you can see, I am legitly bringing it down like no holds bar bringing it down my eye <laughs> no holds bar I'm contemplating whether or not I want to go into this color. I really do. So epic. Okay. I like it. If I didn't like it, we're going to have a problem. But I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna dab it. And add traces of it to the bottom. Again, as you can see, there is no rhyme or reason or no exact way that I am doing this. I am legit just doing it. And this eye has more color, but it's okay. Now we just go back into the other eye. And again, messy and all over the place. And some to be lighter, some to be darker. Some to be longer, some to be shorter. I want the residual to drop. Oof. Okay, cool. So now that we're done with that. We're gonna go into that black little marker that I used last time. I really, really like that little marker. It's this one right here. Oh, I can't push it, okay. We're gonna draw lines, like veins. Coming from the black. For this, I am gonna have to pull my eye just a little bit top. You know what? No, I'm not going to. I refuse to mess up my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this. And the same black that we used for the top, and I'm just gonna use eyeshadow because it's makeup. This is a Sigma brush. Oh, 
I love anything vampire related guys just for those who don't know me and I'm bringing it down just a little bit past that color because I want those veins to be very like <sighs> As usual, I'm sorry for the screaming in the background. Again, no respect in this household. Is you do not want, and I will repeat this a million times, you want this to be squiggly and like all over the place. You do not want them to match. You want some darker, some lighter. I like it. All right, now I want to use this. I need red. Ah, oh, no! I don't have anything to clean it with. No! I always tend to do something. <laughs> All righty. I need red. What eyeshadow palette has red? Is it ring the alarm? Since we're sticking with the Jacqueline Hill theme, she has all the colors perfect for Halloween. <clears throat> for you know what? No, never mind. I'm just gonna use this. It's cream. I'm not sure of it, but you know what? It's better than using one of my palettes. So I'm instead of the same brush, I'm just gonna like wipe it off. I conveniently have a sticky note right in front of me. <laughs> and now I'm gonna use the the tip and as you can see I'm using a lot less red than I did of the black because I want obviously the black to be the primary focus on the eye and then the red i just wanted to kind of like highlight certain areas for the mouth i am going with the red all over the place and then some individual lines of red This is very vampire diaries with a little bit more red in the eye. But I love it because this is so, so, so simple. Now, with that same red and black in the brush, I'm going to do my lips. Because I don't necessarily want the red. On the lips to be too light, and I really like the shade that I got with the black. So, quick tip why I don't use brushes on my lips because I get all itchy. I love this red because it's not like a red red, but it's more like a 
like a burgundy. Yeah, I have a whole mess of colors that look exactly like this, but might as well. I noticed that something in my tooth this whole time. Oh, that must be driving people nuts. It's driving me nuts. Alrighty, well that's done. I love it. I love this red. I, I think it looks beautiful. I love how it looks like the eyes just come out with all this darkness. Alrighty. And as much as I'd hate to say it's done, it's done. Let me see if I can do something about this hair and actually make this look pretty. Because <laughs> my hair is a hot, hot, like, mess. Like, my hair is a mess. I need to do something about it. It has a nice curve to it though. Ooh, very um. Guys, it only has this much volume because it's that dirty. <laughs> this is what happens when my hair is dirty. I get tons of volume and the pictures look great. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys had fun in this quick little vampire tutorial. I'm just missing the fans. I need to go buy some fangs. I mean, I'm not going to because the video's already done, but I need to go buy me some bangs. I still have no idea what I'm going to be for Halloween this year, so that's going to be an interesting decision, too. Man, I should leave my hair dirty more often. Right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll bite you in my next video. Bye.